Hi, everybody. It's that gratitude guy, David Brooke, with another special guest on our gratitude podcast interview. Today, I have Pete Saradakis, a very good friend of mine, and actually even a better friend of my younger son, Connor's, down in San Diego. How's everything down in San Diego, Pete? Oh, it's beautiful. It's uh, nice, sunny right now, 70 degrees. It's, uh, it's really nice out here. Which you could kind of say that pretty much every day, and that would kind yeah. of cover every day when you're ready to go. So, so what I'm doing is I'm talking to different people to give, uh, ask them three questions, and with the idea being that maybe this can help different people, and maybe something Peter says or George says, his brother, that maybe somebody picks up on. Oh, that's a good thing to think about. So let me start with the first question, and that is: is what is your best coping mechanism uh, to deal with this pandemic? <laughs> I think uh, at the end of the day, we have to uh, look at the facts, right? I think that we got to look at the numbers. We got to look at uh, countries that are already months ahead of what we're at, right? Mm -hmm. So what I would say is China got this two months before we did. And right. starting today, I just read an article that Lululemon is opening up all their stores in China. Oh, wow. They're back to business. So I can see that, you know, looking through the scope, I can see that there is, uh, you know, things are going to get better. However, we just don't know what's going to happen between that, right? So right. I would say stay to the facts and not trying to get too emotional about it. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, and, and a lot of people have a lot of different ways. I've heard some great things about uh, reading and exercising and getting some things done that you hadn't had a chance to do up until this point. And, but connecting virtually is just, it's great. Uh, it's a really nice bonus that we have, but it's still so different from face to face, which we're so used to. And now, of course, it's six feet apart and social distancing and so forth. So uh, second question. So during these uncertain times, which they certainly are uncertain, uh, what are you most grateful for? Wow. What am I most grateful for? I would say um, whenever this question comes to me, or whenever someone asks me, it actually... I feel sort of blessed. Um, what I would say is that I have a good job, consistent pay. Uh, I have a great family that always asks me what I'm eating every day, my mother. And uh, <laughs> I have amazing friends. Uh, obviously, my roommate, uh, Connor, cooked me breakfast this morning. Very blessed for that. Um, so what I would say is to wrap it up is that, you know, um, I'm very fortunate that I surrounded myself around people that love me. I have uh, an amazing job that supports me, and I have a family that I can fall back on. That's great. And I certainly agree with you, knowing your family uh, as well as I do these last several years. Uh, I, I've said it before, I think perhaps the Greek culture could teach a lot of other cultures uh, how to have a family. The connection is just phenomenal. And whether it's big families or small, you can just tell the connection between the kids, between the grandparents, between the the parents uh, that are kind of in the middle. It's just the connection is just the warmth and the connection that uh, when I've been around your family is fantastic. So that's really, really cool. So, so third and last question. So do you have like a quote or a philosophy, would you say for Peter that kind of sustains you, sustains you through something like this? You know, funny you ask this because I, you know, during this time, we've been reading a lot of books, and I just started reading this book, uh, The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Shamara. Mm -hmm. And he said how there's this one quote from Marcus Aurelius, um, the Roman leader, and he said that he basically sums it up that, you know, um, you got to spend, you know, our time is fragile by nature, mm -hmm. but it's how you live it, you know, will be an internal will be eternal mm. right? so last forever uh so it's basically making memories uh enjoying it and how that relates to now is that we will always remember this quarantine we will always let's right. say the last four weeks we will always remember these 28 days 10 years from now 15 years from now there will be a significant time in our brains that are sort of instilled of these 28 days hypothetically mm. and i will always remember me wait myself waking up with my roommates at 5 a.m., having our, our cup of mud coffee that Connor always makes in the morning, mm -hmm. um, getting ready. I will always remember those moments. And I always remember how every news breaking headline, how it made me feel, how it made my roommates feel, and how, how we're going to get through this together. Right. So that when it, comes to, when it comes to that quote of how um, 
you know, our life here is fragile and it's not here to last for a long time, but you know, we're all going to remember those moments. Right. So, um, I can't remember the quote exactly, but that's how, that's how it's meaningful to me. A lot of that to me, just hearing you say that quote reminds me a lot about being present and just yeah. really understanding that uh, we really do only have today. And they, what does they say to you know tomorrow's not here yet. Yesterday has already happened. All we have is today. Actually, all yep. we have is this moment. So really take yeah. advantage of it. And I did a little thing on, uh, 10 different, I did a video on 10 different, uh, points that are positive that have come out of this. And one of them is just look at this technology. I just press a couple of buttons and I'm talking to Peter down in San Diego and I'm up in, in uh, Seattle. And so it's just in smartphones and all the things we can do. And it's just, and it's forcing families to maybe reconnect where they may not have originally because they're too busy working. So even during this time, so there was a bunch of other things that I brought up there, just really important. So, but that being present, being really, really aware and really counting your blessings and being grateful, uh, it's a heck of a philosophy. It really makes a big difference. So Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, my friend, and uh, good luck down in San Diego, and uh, we will be chatting soon. All right. God bless you. Thank you, and uh, stay healthy, and uh, we'll talk soon. Sounds good. Thanks, Peter. You got it.